What's going on? What's happening? <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. Some of you all are petty. <laughs> so let me explain the reason why I'm making this video. I did a video yesterday, right? And the video was was called um, I I moved back to Charlotte from Atlanta because I failed, right? And in the very beginning of the video, I um, showed a homeless man. You know what I'm saying? What appeared to be a homeless man. You know, um, like living in in a bridge, right? And I was joking on it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was funny to me, in my opinion. A lot of people felt as though that um, I shouldn't have made, made a, a joker at the homeless person. And I'm going to explain why, you know, I'm going to explain why. Um, and it's like, if you never lived in Atlanta and have never dealt with Atlanta homeless people, let alone homeless people in general, you shouldn't really be saying anything about me joking about joking on a homeless man especially when i've been talking about atlanta's problems such as atlanta's homelessness problem problem for years so the reason why i joked on the guy is because in my opinion i really think that this guy is not like a homeless person i think that he's just like a lot of people that I've encountered that were frauds that really is making it worse for the real homeless people. Real homeless people want to get out of their conditions and situations. That dude that was living in the bridge, in my opinion, because I've seen those type of guys countless times before in Atlanta that guy he to me fully capable of getting himself out of the situation if you can climb hold on let, let me just show the footage let me show you all the footage let me show you all what everybody is Complaining about on how I was joking on this 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 homeless guy. Let me show you the footage and then we'll come back. Let's go. Check this out. This is in Atlanta. This guy is like his his home is in a bridge. Look at this. Y'all think I'm making this up? This is ridiculous. Look at this. <laughs> Let's read the comments of the conversation. Yo, I woke up to this, man. <laughs> Oh, let's read it. <laughs> and if, if you want to know, you if you want to look at this video, I, I, well, the short, I'll um put the link of um this this short in the description um box of this video as well as in the comment section of this video. Hold on. So uh, <laughs> so the the, the comments reads is this: considering the homeless population, no resources, and high cost of rent. Where else would you prefer them to live? Uh, hold on, hold on. Let's read another one. Uh, that's the Super Mario portal. <laughs> Yo! I'm not making this up, man. I'm not making this up. <laughs> <laughs> He's a ninja turtle. That <laughs> male father is, is Splinter. <laughs> Y'all thought I was making this up, man. This is the stuff that happens in Atlanta, man. This man is... <laughs> He's not living underground. He's living inside of a bridge. 
<laughs> can't make this shit up. Can't make it up. Can't make it up. <laughs> so now, right? Now that you've seen the Ninja Turtle, right? Climbing in, into the bridge. It's obvious that this man has no physical uh, 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 um, 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 problems. You know, such as a, a broken leg, a sprained foot, uh, anything that, that's going to stop or hinder him from working a nine to five. So that man, to me, in my opinion, don't need no help. He's just another one of them dudes in Atlanta, downtown Atlanta, that be begging because he don't want to work. That's the problem with some of you people out there. You feel sorry for people that you don't need to feel sorry for. At the end of the day, let's just, nobody wants to be real. Nobody wants to be real. At the end of the day, there are quite a few de degenerates walking around here that just don't want to be shit in life. And if you never met those type of people, well, I want to know where you live at because I want to move in with you. I've been trying to get away from ignorant, hard-headed all my life. No good ones. All my life. And you telling me you haven't encountered any, any N-I-G-G-E-R-S's -R that would disguise as homeless people? That you don't have any type of ignorant ass N-I-G-G-E-R-S's in your neighborhood, community, city, state. If that's the truth, let me know so I can move in the area with you. Other than that, let me tell you something. I know a lot about homeless people and I could be able to differentiate between homeless people that are really that are really in need. And if they had the help, they would take full advantage of it. And the person that looks like he's homeless or she's homeless. They're really not. They just don't want to work. They just don't want to do shit. They just want to... They want a handout. That's it. Those are the ones that continue to stay on Section 8. Those are the ones that continue to get the EBT card. Those are the ones that continue to... Con continue to, to take, 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 take and never give. That plain and simple. Nobody felt sorry for me. That's real talk. When I was homeless, yes, I was homeless at one point in time. Nobody felt sorry for me. I was homeless. I've known several people to be homeless. But the difference between us and that guy that you saw that was climbing in, into a bridge in Atlanta is that we got up off our asses, made no excuses, and made it happen. You trying to defend a guy that you, ain't, you don't even fucking know. That's real talk. I'm not the one that recorded the damn video. That's the first thing. The second thing is, the video comes from an Atlanta channel y'all don't know what y'all talking about please for those that are looking at this video that live in Atlanta that used to live in Atlanta or that have encountered Atlanta's homeless people I'm talking about the fake ones please let them let the audience or the people that are looking at this video that have not never encountered Atlanta homeless people and, and really don't know too much about homeless people in, in particular. Let's just run in their mouth. Please let them know that Atlanta homeless people are different. Real talk. 
I had a friend. Um, he was he was not too far from a uh, uh, Grady Hospital. You know what I'm saying? Um, I forgot where he said he was at a stoplight, right? And it's it's like around the Martin Luther King Memorial Center, Edgewood Avenue, and Grady. That's where all the bums be at, right? So um, homeless people, whatever you want to call them. So he was like, he stopped at a stoplight, right? And a homeless person came up to him and was like, yo, you know, can I get a dollar? And, the, and, and my friend was like, yo, you know, man, I don't have a dollar to give you. You know, I wish I could give you something. You know what I'm saying? Well, and, and then he was like, my friend was like, yo, you know, you could take this 50 cent that I got in the ashtray. The homeless person said, what the hell I'm going to do with 50 cent? And then my friend was like, well, shit, I don't want to give you anything. And you know what the homeless guy did? Kicked his car and put a dent in it. Know what you're talking about before you open your mouth. I made the video to bring light, to shed light to the Atlanta homeless problem. And the reason why I was the main, the, really the main reason why I showed that video is to bring some type of humor to a serious situation. And that is the land is homeless problem as well as the crime that's out, that's, that's down there, that's going on. You know how many videos I've made about Atlanta that were negative? These past two weeks, I thought, you know what? Let me put this video up here of this guy, you know, looking like he going through a Super Mario portal. And get, you know, like make, you know, make him laugh. And then I get, you know, get into the serious shit. I talked about how Atlanta is, is clicked up. Either, you know what I'm saying? In order to move, you know what I'm saying? In order to be successful in Atlanta, you have to be part of a clique. And if you're not part of a clique, hey, it is what it is. You ass out. So if you're not part of a, a sorority, a fraternity, if you're not a fraternal brother, a fraternal sister, a fraternal brother, um, what what is it? Um, one who walked across the barren sands or however they put it in, you know, as far as dealing with the Masonic order. If you're not in the Masonry, if you're not a Mason, if you're not a fellow brother, if you're not part of the NAACP or some type of organization, you're not going to make it in Atlanta. And in the video, when I was talking about the homeless dude, I mentioned these different organizations coming together in order to take care of the homeless problem that they have down there. Because from what I see, straight up, for the people that really need help and that's not faking their homeless situation, all I see is a bunch of black people that just need opportunity. That's it. If you give them jobs, if you employ people, you empower them. I'm gonna say it again. If you employ people, you empower them. I'm not telling you to give them a handout, go out and start giving out $50 and shit like that. No, what I'm saying is for all these different organizations, cliques and groups and stuff like that, fraternal orders, etc. Y'all link up with these HBCUs that's down there in Atlanta, as well as the churches and end, put an end to homelessness that day. Get up with the with, with your entrepreneurs, your black entrepreneurs, your black business owners. Cause see, y'all tend to brag about how many black entrepreneurs down that's down there and, and black um, professionals as well as businesses. So all these people can get together as well as black athletes too. Black athletes live down there. Professional black athletes. All y'all need to get together and put it into this shit but you're not why because i mentioned this in the video that i did yesterday about the homeless man the reason why y'all are not gonna change and make a difference in the land is because you deal with 
an individual mind. You don't give a fuck about what's going on in the rest of the world as long as your world that you've created is peaceful. And we got to stop thinking that way. We got to stop thinking that way, man. It don't make sense. If you're doing good and your next door neighbor is fucked up, guess what? We're all in this together. Help. And it's just it's just simple shit. The reason why my, my channel is so powerful and my videos are so powerful and dynamic is because I'm just saying shit that people should have been saying for the longest and it's simple solutions to our so-called complicated problems. But yeah, I was homeless before. I know what it feels like to be homeless. And I can tell you, that man that was like, you know, portaling port portaling through that bridge, you know what I'm saying? Straight up. Yeah, he looked like he could be in America's name. That's what you need. You're straight up. You, you need a job? Try, try out for American Ninja. Because, man, you got up in that little hole like quick as hell, man. For real. That's real talk. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm, I'm serious. Like, I'm, 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 I might go down to Atlanta and just, you know, see how his setup is. How he got... His shit hooked up inside that bridge. Because if he got running water, electricity, and all the rest of that stuff, and he living rent free, I'm going to tell that nigga to move over. Real talk. He can have apartment A and I can have apartment B. All The only thing I need is internet service. So I can continue to give y'all videos. Because <laughs> I know that's how crazy you all are. I could be homeless. <laughs> y'all don't care about that. All y'all care about is, you know what I'm saying, me entertaining you all. Are you homeless? Oh, okay. Anyway, um, when, when, when you gonna put out another video? <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying, man. That's what, that's what I'm saying, man. Human pe beings, we're, we're messed up in the head. We're messed up in the head. Real talk. So, I picked on the homeless people. Let me ask you a question you all a question before I go. You know what I'm saying? For those that had a problem with me picking on, picking on a homeless person. That was really a fake homeless person. Uh, 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 N-I-G-G-E-R pretending to be fake. Because his arms, limbs, all, all limbs, everything worked. So so, so being that he can climb up in that, that, that bridge the way he did, he's, he's a fully functional human being. So everything works on his body. So there shouldn't be no problem with him getting finding work and actually working a job. But the question is, how many homeless people have you fed today? How many homeless people have you housed? Let's make this out of a positive than a negative. So, I mean, man, I've, I've done my, my, my just do, my duty. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've handed out, you know, um, food to the homeless. I, 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 I do this. So don't question me, but I'm definitely questioning you. What did you do for the homeless today? And if you didn't do anything, what are you going to do? Because, you know, man, all they need is a couple, couple cans, couple oodles and noodles, you know, some food. You could donate clothes or anything. Other than that, let's stop pointing a finger at one another and start actually putting in that work. Because these the real, real homeless people, they need our help. That's real talk. And homelessness is just not in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I put the spotlight on Atlanta is because black people think when they go down there, that's all they're going to see is a bunch of black people doing good. Now, you're going to see more black people doing bad than good. And I showed you the video. Yeah, to get a laugh. Right? But, but on the real side, this is reality for some. Living in the bridge. 
in Atlanta. Man, I could give you stories, man, for real. When I was down there, you know, the, the city of Atlanta blamed Highway 85, right? This is a major highway that goes through Atlanta, right? The bridge collapsed on Highway 85, right? It got caught on fire. You know what the city of Atlanta said? Who they blamed the fire on? They blamed it on a homeless crackhead. If you don't believe me, check it out. Do your research for yourself. So, yeah, man, don't come with me that BS. You know what I'm saying? Don't come to me with that BS. I'm never going to put my, uh, uh, belittle my race like that. I would never do that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm 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 gonna put I'm 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 gonna tell the truth and I'm gonna put people in their place. And to me, in my opinion, that dude wasn't f- trying to stop cursing. That dude was not goddamn homeless. If you can climb in a hole into a bridge, not you're not you're not you're not going down, you're climbing up into the bridge. You can work. Period. Other than that, my name is Langston2092. I want you to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely share this video.